All right, today I got a hard one for you. It's Moon Knight versus Captain America. Oh, man. All right, so Moon Knight has his moon powers that allow him to get enhanced strength, endurance, and reflexes at night. These also enhance furthermore depending on how much the moon is showing. So, like, if there's a full moon, he's at his maximum, like, level of power. And if it's on a new moon, then he just has it. He just has his normal night powers, okay? And these are actually not noticeable during the day. He does not have these during the day. He is a very skilled boxer, commando, martial artist, acrobat, gymnast, and pilot. He's very similar to DC's Batman because he brings in several weapons and gadgets, such as his energy shield, his bulletproof armor that he wears, his crescent darts, and his angel wing, which is a thing that he can fly. And he flies it because he's a good pilot. <laughs> Uh, he's very wealthy, obviously, because he could afford all that. Uh, he doesn't care to play dirty. That's the true difference between him and Batman. He'll play dirty. Uh, he will also let his opponent hit him if it opens up a killing opportunity on his opponent. And it's because of this, he is very durable for a human. I mean, of course, his suit like helps with that, but still. Uh, he always ends up killing his opponents unless they get away. That's another difference between him and Batman. He will kill his enemy while ba Batman would just knock him out. And about that, he aims to kill his opponent as quickly and as pace painfully as possible. Now, Captain America. He, as Steve Rogers, he volunteered to be scientifically made into a super soldier that gave him all his superhuman feats. Super strength, speed, durability, endurance, um, reflexes, all that great stuff. Let's talk about his endurance real quickly. He he ran 13 miles in 30 minutes, and he wasn't even tired. He just stopped. That's incredible. He's a fantastic fighter, as he was military trained, and he knows many forms of fighting. Uh, he, and his only one weapon that he carries is his vibranium shield that is virtually indestructible. It's been said that it is the best offensive and defensive weapon in the MCU. Uh, he is the founding, he's a founding member and the leader of the Avengers until he died and the Winter Soldier took over. All that great stuff. It, he's an excellent strategist due to being in the Marines and the military and all that great stuff. Whew, my God. This is a hard one. He's a born leader. And that's why he's the leader of the Avengers. This is a hard battle, and I can't wait to see y'all later in part two. Like, and subscribe, all the good stuff. See ya. Man, this one's going to be really hard, boys.